Hey guys, I just wanted to make sort of like one last video sort of before the end of the year. Um, I mean, I know there's a few days left, so I might make another one um, if I get time. But I've not really done much in a while because I've been busy. Um, just wanted to sort of like you know just talk about stuff I've got coming up, what my sort of my next projects are, and also to show off the uh, the necromancer at the back there. Uh, just really happy with him. Um, but he's like something I did recently. Um, and it was really a really interesting challenge because he's mostly painted using just shades and washes. Well, you know, yeah, so like shades, washes, and dry brushing. There's not really much blocks or paint work doing apart from obviously the main base coat. Uh, yeah, it was really fun because it's like there's not like loads and loads of detail that I picked out, you know, individually like I might do with another model. So I was just trying there trying to just do more and it's things like toying around with different shades, you know, watering down a bit of null oil for some of the darkest recesses, and it seems, seems to work quite well. So that was quite fun. So obviously I've done that, and um, then obviously going into the ne into the new year, I've got my little Gimli from the um, so the made to order or the limited run stuff. I um, managed to snag him. I was quite pleased. It was a model I wanted to pay for a long time. Um, and then sort of on the cards, I don't know if anybody's seen me mentioning, but I've got a minus Tirith army that I'm working on. Uh, so this guy is a captain. Um, I fixed him up. Had to, he has had his sword broken. I think I'm going to add a cloak to this guy because I've got some other camps I've converted them. They've got cloaks. And that just sort of makes it a bit, a bit different. But yeah, so that's something that's going to take a long while because I've got a lot of models for that. Um, basically, I've just managed to buy like loads of soldiers and then uh, my brother gave me even more. Um, so it's going to be a really big infantry army. I'm going to base it around like the retaking of Osgiliath. I've already got a Boromir that I've converted up. Um, he's actually right there, um, as you can see. Uh, he's just a normal guy, but I was given out of wings to his helmet. I've given him a round shield. Um, just I, I liked, I like the idea of sticking with that. You know, it sort of it makes it stand out. I've tried green stuff in a horn. Uh, it's not amazing, but I, I think it looks good enough. And it's just like you know, it's you know, it's just me playing around, learning new tricks. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm actually really pleased with the white as well. Um, that's a really, actually fine. I think that's a really clean white. Uh, but something else that I've also added to, again, is my dwarf army. And anybody who's been following me for any length of time knows that I really, really like dwarves. And I picked up something like 10, 10 little Khazagar dudes. Um, so they'll they'll be on my painting painting list next. And probably they're probably going to be the next lot. Actually, I get painted because I really enjoy painting my my dwarves. Um, and I've been sort of running with uh, a Barlins sort of expedition kind of theme. Um, I've actually, I actually wrote my own sort of little narrative campaign just for fun, but um, there's a couple of guys that play locally who we're hoping once this, uh, you know, this pandemic subsides and we can go back to being like, you know, sociable again, maybe have a go at that. Um, but yeah, like, so that's what to look forward to in the new year. If, 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 you know, we can get back to normal in the new year, uh, you know, everything's sort of falling apart continuously at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's all leading up, um, and I'm sure many of you, like me, will have Warhammer on your Christmas list, so I'm sure I'll have plenty of uh, new projects to do in the new year, um, and, and as always, I'm always trying to think about doing more train and just sort of running out of space. Um, I bought another storage case not too long ago, and I'm already kind of pretty much filled it up, so um, yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so... Thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, so, you know, uh, happy Christmas or uh, Hanukkah or whatever it is you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate anything, just hope you have a few couple of, few, couple of weeks to just chill, not doing anything. Uh, that's kind of my plan at the moment is I've just, you know, I've been working pretty much constantly since May. And now I've stopped, so I'm just going to do sod all really, maybe a little bit of, ho little bit of hobby. But, yeah, I'm not going to do much else. But, uh, and then, obviously, you go back to the new year, work, 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 work. But, um, but yeah, so... Cheers guys, thanks for watching.